Hello everybody and welcome to another Open Tutorial video tutorial brought to you by OpenTutorial.com. In this tutorial we'll be making a three-dimensional anaglyph image using two stereoscopic images and Photoshop. Now this tutorial is going to be in two separate parts. Uh, the first part is going to be a real quick run through on how this works and the second part will be a more slow and uh, a more slow and detailed explanation as to what's going on. So the first thing I've done is I've loaded up uh, Photoshop with two stereoscopic images, one for the left eye view and one for the right eye view. Now how I took this, these images was using a standard digital camera. I first took a picture and then I moved slightly to the right and then took another picture. The distance moved is about the distance between your left eye and your right eye approximately. So go to the right image, select all, copy it, go to the left image and paste it into the left image. And double click the layers right here. Uncheck the red channel under advanced blending. Select OK. Double click the background. Select OK. And then move the red ghost image to align the focal point up. Then use your crop tool to crop out the artifacts. And there you have it, a stereoscopic image using two stereoscopic pairs, or using two stereoscopic images and Photoshop. All right, now here we have our stereoscopic images loaded into Photoshop, a left eye and a right eye. Now what we want to do is select the right image under select, select all, and then copy. And at this point we can go ahead and close this image because we don't no longer need it. And then we want to paste this into the left image. So edit, paste. And that puts the right image on top of the left image. We want to double click the layer here. Brings up the layer style dialog box. And we don't want to blend the red channel underneath. So we unselect that and click OK. And that gives us our red cyan effect here. You want to set the focal point of the image. Now the focal point or the subject of the image is where it'll basically be flat. So if, if, the, if the focal point that you set is more in the foreground, then the rest of the image will be behind and it'll, it'll make it look like the, the image is, is going three-dimensional into your monitor. If your subject is more, say, towards the middle, half the image will come out frontwards and half the image will go out backwards. If your um, image is, or if your subject is all the way in the back of the picture, it'll make it look like the whole thing is jumping out at you. It's not 100% perfect, uh, depending upon how well you've taken your pictures and how, you know, how well you've taken your pictures and, and set up your, your, your focal point. But for the most part, I like to select something that's right, right in the middle. That gives a, a nice blend of depth going in and a little bit coming out. We want to double click the background layer. I, I tend to like to move the, uh, the red channel around, the red ghost image, because it's easier for me to see. And so in order to do that, I have to double click this and turn it into a layer. And then I use the move tool and I find whatever my focal point is going to be. And in this case, it's the, the corner of the stump. And I line that up with its counterpart beneath it so that what's in front of the stump here kind of tends to come out of the screen and what's behind this tends to seem like it goes into the screen. Now I could easily have done a different part of the image, like let's say uh, this rock here in the very front and align that up. And that will make it seem more like the whole image is behind. But I like using this stump as the, as the subject. It seems to work the best. And you might have to play around with what works better for you and what works better for the, the image that you're trying to compose. What you're left with is these, these uh, cyan uh, sections here that need to be cropped out using the crop tool. So I use the crop tool and scan all the way down here. And then double click 
And there you have it. You can go ahead and put your 3D glasses on and look at that. And you will see that it's it's a 3D anaglyph image made with Photoshop. It's rather simple to do with Photoshop. There are other methods on, um, of ways to do this using Photoshop, using the um, the channels uh, tab here and so forth. But this seems to be the very, very easiest to do. So I tend to like this method quite a bit. So that's how to make a 3D anaglyph image using Photoshop. Um, be sure to check out opentutorial.com. There's a whole bunch of more tutorials up there. Uh, look at the uh, Open Tutorial, um, other tutorials by Open Tutorial here on YouTube. That's pretty, um, I got a few more going up every day and so forth. So please check it out. And thank you very much.